Welcome to Let's Rant by Snorlag. This rant is about Stop Online Piracy Act, also known as SOPA. This bill, as I'm reading it, would allow the U.S. Department of Justice, which is basically the court system, and copyright holders to go after people who have been accused of in enabling or facilitating things that have broken copyright infringement, such as YouTube and that kind of thing. It also allows them to allow denial of service from PayPal to from PayPal giving money to sites that are accused of it would also make streaming of copyright content a felony. So people like, oh, I don't know, Chaz Dragoon, Togoth, hell, even fucking, uh, Doc Sigma. He's done a streaming video once. They, they would all be felons if this bill was passed. Of course, there's also that little case of if they continued to do it after the bill was passed, they could get arrested because there's also another bill in the Constitution that says you can't be you can't be arrested for something after the fact, before the fact. Well, but still, it's freaking stupid. It also allows the U.S. government to ban IPs and websites that cause infringement like YouTube. So even if you're not looking at this stuff on YouTube, this bill will affect you if you live in the United States. Now, you're saying if I don't live in the U.S., I live in Europe, I live in Moscow, I live in Beijing, whatever. This will affect you because if you try to buy something on YouTube, because PayPal is a service in the United States and your country doesn't have this bill, the U.S. can say you can't do business with that person because of this bill. It's stupid. It's completely retarded. It's so open-ended that it could lead to almost anything. Game FAQs could be shut down because they don't have the copyrights to the pictures of the games they have FAQs for. Or Game Facts, if you want to call it that. Um, freaking, how many websites or gaming websites that have hints or tips on games, even old ones, could be shut down. Photo Bucket, shut down. Because I'm sure there's at least a couple people that have illegal or <coughs> copyright infringing material on them. Just this law is so open-ended. I know I keep using that word, but it just seems... They needed to narrow it down so if they wanted to get against the people that it was actually hurting their bottom line. Because this, this is going to hurt them again. Because if they get banned, they have YouTube or Game FAQs banned. A lot of people go to those websites and see game advertisements. Because that's what it promotes to, gamers. And if you get rid of the, pe the websites that are producing your customer base, who are you hurting? Yourself. Your own company. It's like uh, chopping your leg off to save your foot. Oh, wait. You still lose your damn foot. It's just, this is, it's, it's so asinine that it, it, it will ruin a lot of good things. YouTube itself is not inherently bad. 
However, there is a lot of stuff on it that is questionable copyrighted material. However, this law will make it so it doesn't matter whether it is or not. The whole site itself is accused of doing it. Anybody that puts material on there afterwards, regardless of the fact if they know it passed or not, can go to jail. Huge fines. It, it doesn't matter what the reason you did it, whether to show somebody you were able to beat a game or whatever. What I don't understand is a lot of companies are having... It, so you can post your game videos like on uh, Black Ops. You can post from your PS3, from the game itself, to places like YouTube or your Facebook page. This is going to make that part of the game illegal. They're going to make it illegal for you to use something that you bought legally because some asinine person wanted to pass a bill to stop copyright infringement, which is, once again, hurting their own bottom line. They're going to lose money on this. They're going to chop off their leg to save their foot. Or they're going to chop off their leg to get rid of the piranha that's eating their toe. Let's put it that way. They do not lose as much money as they think. This is the same damn thing that happened with Metallica and the MP3 thing. They got rid of Napster, or they thought they did. Well, now, instead of just downloading MP3s for free, you might have to pay 30 cents a song or a dollar a song. But you know what? You can still go to some places and download songs off the internet for nothing. Why? Because copyright laws don't always work. Now, I'm not saying copyright is stupid. Everybody should be entitled to have money from their own ideas. However, saying that somebody who bought your idea and they can't use it because it's still your idea is stupid. Saying that somebody is trying to promote something of yours and saying positive things about it or whatever just because you don't know them personally or whatever or you didn't get money from them to do it you're gonna put them in jail what the hell people SOPA or the Stop Online Piracy Act needs to stop a sorry it's a bad pun I hate it when I do that but yeah I'm posting this to show how much I fucking hate this god dang bill. Sorry for my cussing. I haven't been able to sleep because as soon as I heard that this is going up soon, because I thought this stupid thing had already got shot down like months ago. Apparently, our U.S. senators who are freaking brilliant don't have the common sense to see how bad a law this is. I mean, this law is so bad, I'll say it. I will be willing to go to jail to stand up against this law. If this law passes, and they want to take me to jail because I posted something on YouTube, in fact, I'll be posting shit on YouTube from now on, that specifically goes against copyright, or, well, not specifically goes against copyright, I will be doing commentaries or guest commentaries, depending on if I can, with others, and if they come to my house and my door to arrest my ass, I will put my hands behind my head and let them fucking take my ass, because I don't care, this law is freaking stupid. In fact... They do this, they're going to have... I can see if this law gets passed. I've commented it on a couple of message boards. That if this law gets passed, who knows what could be passed next. Why don't they ban the discussion of race, religion, uh, anything like that? Because it's offensive to people. I know that um, 
back when Passion of the Christ came out. They wanted to ban that from the movie theaters because um, Jewish people didn't like it. I can understand that. It does not show Jewish people in the best of light. I'm not Jewish. I'm not saying that it was, you know, not their right to say they didn't like the movie. But it's a movie, you know. Also, um, on, on the other end of the spectrum, when The Da Vinci Code came out, Christians were up in arms about the movie, saying they wanted it to have a, have a little subtitle on it, or not a subtitle, but a, a, a little bar or something that said it was a work of fiction. And to make sure that people realized that it was not a real movie, or based on a real story, well, that's kind of the same thing. It's just a movie. You can't really shut something down because it's just a movie. Well, this is kind of the same thing. It's just people trying to have fun and you're blowing it all out of proportion. Now, I'm not saying everybody that's doing copyright deserves everything they're getting. Like people who go on torrents and whatnot and download cracked versions of games and stuff. No, that, that, that is illegal. That is definely illegal. But posting a video that you played of a game that you legally purchased is redundant and stupid. You already paid for the game. You paid for it. And then they're going to tell you, you can't post online because you're copyright infringing. Even though you bought the game. Or, or in the case of Modern Warfare 3, I believe, does it. And Call of Duty Black Ops does it. They have it in the game that you bought that gives you the option to do so. And who knows? I mean, seriously, who knows? I doubt they even realize the stupidity or that it, they, the bill is... They, they are satisfied with the bill that it's worded in such a way that it couldn't come back to bite them in the butt. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I've read it and it could come bite the back butt. The, blah, bite them in the ass and I'm mad. So, please, go to the um, website. Uh, demandprogress.org Sign their online doohickey. Don't even put your fucking real name if you don't want to. Just do something. Stop this damn thing before it gets any more freaking ridiculous.